Hello everyone and welcome to the WCG for quarterfinal one of the 2022 Tex Fed Australia Day T20 Big Bash, which sees the two-time champions and group of death winners, how's that? Taking on the defending champions, Young Money Cash Money, to get us underway in the knockout stages. It is Eastside's third meeting at the Australia Day T20 Big Bash, but for the first time, they meet in a do or die knockout contest. How's that progressing from the group of death in Group A? After easily accounting for wet up and two inches short of a length, so they will head into this contest full of confidence. Young Money Cash Money qualifying second in Group B after losing their opening match against the Nif Nuffs. However, they do have the wood over their opponents in this one, holding a 2-0 record in tournament history. The captains are in the middle and ready for the toss. <laughs> So it's the Young Money Cash Money skipper Rabi Obasha who wins the toss and he is elected to bat first in his quarterfinal. As we take a look at his side now, and it's been Ryan Schaefer who has stood up with the bat once again for the defending champions. Scores of 22 and 32 in this year's tournament so far and he'll be relied upon with the bat once again you'd feel in this one. And as we take a look at the how's that side for this crunch quarterfinal, they'll be led by Brendan Scott once again who has had a terrific tournament with the bat himself so far. Costa Savas and Daniel Arnold have been good with the ball when required. And they'll be looking to back their skipper up in this quarterfinal if they're going to subdue the dangerous Ryan Schaefer. And just before we get underway, we'd like to thank our major partner for this year's tournament, Texbet, who have been fantastic since jumping on board. Bet local, bet with Tex. So it's do or die cricket from here on in. The winner moves through to the semi-finals. It's How's That taking on Young Money Cash Money. We're ready to get this show on the road. And no surprises, it will be Ryan Schaefer who will get this innings underway for the defending champs. As mentioned prior, he's stood up once again with the bat in this tournament for the men in black. Can he get them off to the ideal start in this quarterfinal? So a massive one to get us underway in the knockout stages. Two previous winners of the competition going head to head for a place in the semi-final. And it's going to be Scott to Schaefer first up. Here is in now, and this one's a good length delivery outside the off stump. And Schaefer plays inside the line and lets this one go first up. So you get the feeling this will be a massive battle between these two heavyweights. And in particular, Scott against Schaefer. As Scott is in once again to him now, and it's a full delivery, but he's pushed this one down the leg side, so that will have to be called a wide. Here they have had their issues with the ball so far in this tournament, have how's that? They've conceded the most amount of wides in the tournament so far. As Scott is in once again to Schaefer, and it's a good length delivery, and Schaefer is forward and defends for no run. Yeah, even the Babes haven't coughed up as many sundries as How's That have so far, so they need to sort that out in this quarterfinal. As Scott is in once again to Schaefer, and he seems to walk down the pitch at Scott, and he has a wild fly outside the off stump, and thankfully from his point of view, he hasn't made contact. He's not in a good position there. Scott to continue to Schaefer in the opening over. He was in there, this one's a full delivery, and Schaefer gets a thick inside edge as he moves through for a single, as it's fielded by Daniel Arnold there at mid-wicket. So he just hasn't got his timing right so far in this quarter-final, Schaefer. But as long as he is at the crease, then Young Money Cash Money can back themselves to make a competitive total. Here is Scott is in for the final ball of the opening over. He's in there, this one's a full delivery, it's played back down the ground, but it's well fielded off his own bowling to end with. No wicket for two. It'll be the youngster, Costa Savas, to bowl the second over of the innings. Here is Zinnia to shave him. Begins with a full delivery, and it's hammered on the offside for a maximum first ball. So Schaefer taking it to the youngster first up. He has got every bit of this. And Arnold never stood a chance. So Schaefer has moved along to seven. The defending champions know we can for eight in the second over. As Savas in once again to him now, and he drops short on this occasion. And he pulls this away on the leg side for back-to-back -back boundaries. Schaefer beginning to get going in this quarter-final. He moves along to 11. Young Money, Cash Money, no wicket for 12. So the youngster under pressure here in this quarter-final. As we continue again now to Schaefer. And this one's a full wide delivery. It's a wild swing from Schaefer. And this one has been called a wide. So not an ideal start to this over here for young Costa Savas. 11 off the first two deliveries. As in once again to Schaefer. And this one's a better delivery. Bang on the money. And it's fielded by Daniel Arnold and mid on for no run. 
Let's have a good battle brewing here in this opening quarter final. The defending champions off to a pretty decent start in this one. As Savas will continue again now to Schaefer. Oh, and this time he's pushed it down the leg side. So that will be another wide. That's young Savas' 10th wide for the tournament. So although he's picked up a few wickets, his radar hasn't been quite right. Here as he'll continue again now to Schaefer. Oh, and this one's a full toss and Schaefer lost all his shape there. And he'll be disappointed he didn't put that one away. So young money, cash money, 14 without loss. So we arrive at the final delivery of the second over. Here is Savas is into Schaefer. And this one's a full delivery and it gets under the bat of Schaefer. And it's a dot ball to end with. So the match evenly poised as we move into the back end of the innings. You'd probably say Young Money Cash Money the happier of the two sides with Schaefer still at the crease. Young Money Cash Money 14 without loss and Schaefer has built a brilliant platform from which to launch off. So Scott sensing a need for a wicket will bowl the third over of this innings as in now to Schaefer who plays across the line. Oh and this cannot have missed the off stump by much. It's an awkward looking stroke there from Schaefer who tried to help it on the leg side. No, oh, and he's beaten, but survives. No wicket for 14, and Scott will continue to Schaefer in the third over. Here he's in now, and this one looks like a slow ball, it's gone right through Schaefer! So that's the big wicket of the Young Money Cash Money star! That is just what the doctor ordered for the two-time champs. Scott gets the big wicket of Schaefer. This was always going to be a big battle, and Scott comes out on top in this one. Schaefer goes for 11. The defending champions won for 14, and how's that have got themselves back into this quarterfinal? So a big breakthrough there for the two-time champs, as that wicket will now bring Sean Cook to the crease at number two. He's only faced a few balls in this tournament, and that was against the Babes. Can he get his side up to a competitive target? So he'll have to contend with a fired-up Brendan Scott, who will come into him now for his first delivery. He's in now, this one's a full fast delivery, he's knocked him over! First ball! It's two in two for How's That? And just like that, they've put themselves into a favourable position this quarterfinal. It's a bullet from Scott. He has the beating of Cook, all ends up. Young Money, Cash Money now, two for 14 in this quarterfinal, and in a bit of trouble. As the skipper leads from the front for the two-time champs. Well, what a difference two balls can make in this competition. As that wicket now brings the skipper, Rabi Basher to the crease. The last hope for Young Money Cash Money. And you'd fancy he's going to have to get a score here for them to be competitive. So it's Scott, who's on a hat-trick no less, to bowl to Rabi Basher for his first delivery. Here he's in now. This one's a full delivery. There's a big appeal. He's got him. Obasha's gone first delivery. And it's a hat-trick for Brendan Scott. He becomes the first man in T20 history to take a hat-trick. And Young Money Cash Money, who just moments ago were in a strong position in this quarter-final, are now in tatters being rolled for 14. They've come from everywhere to celebrate. El Basha becomes an unwanted part of history from his point of view. Scott picks up the first ever T20 hat-trick, and they need 15 to qualify for the semi-finals. So Young Money Cash Money have crumbled here in their innings to be bowled out for 14. They have lost three for none in this third over. Thanks to the How's That skipper who takes the first ever T20 hat trick. And the defending champions are on the ropes here in this quarter final. They're gonna have to produce a famous bowling effort to save their title defense. It's 15 to get for the two time champs. And no surprises it will be the How's That skipper, Brendan Scott, who will get this run chase underway for the two time champs. And this is a massive period of the match. They need to get Scott early. So 15 to get here for the two-time champs. And it's going to be Ryan Schaefer to Scott first up. Here's in now. This one's a quick delivery. But this bounces way over Scott's head. So that will be quarter wide first up. So the two-time champs underway in the run chase. And this will be must-watch TV. Schaefer to continue around the wicket to Scott in the opening over the run chase. Here he's in now, this one's a better delivery, bang on the money. And Scott is forward and defends well on the leg side for no run. So there's probably no more obvious statement to be made, but they need Scott's wicket early. As Schaefer is in once again to Scott, and this one's a full delivery. And Scott plays this on the leg side once again for no run. Here's Scott will not be in a hurry, as he hasn't been so far in this tournament in the opening overs. As Schaefer is in once again to him now, and he pushes this one across Scott. 
and Scott is happy to leave this alone. Here's Schaefer to Smith, Scott in last year's group stage. A brilliant catch from Captain Rabiel Basher on that occasion. And they'll be hoping that Lightning can strike twice. As Schaefer is in once again two, Scott and this one's pushed down the leg side. So that'll be called another wide. So no wicket for two here in the run chase. Here's Schaefer perhaps trying a little too hard on that occasion. As he'll continue around the wicket here to Scott. On oh, this one's a full delivery and it's a swing and a miss there from Scott. So perhaps the first sign of nerves here in this quarter final from the How's That Skipper. But from his point of view, thankfully no nick. So Schaefer is in for the final ball of the opening over. Here's in now, this one's a good length delivery. And Scott leaves this alone to end with. No wicket for two after one. It'll be Sean Cook by the second over of this run chase. As in around the wicket here to Scott, there's a back of a lane delivery, and Scott plays this away on the offside for the first boundary of the run chase. It's beautifully weighted on there from Scott, who tucks it away brilliantly. Now wicket for six. Well, the alarm bells might be starting to ring here for the defending champions, as Cook continues around the wicket to Scott, who drops this on the offside, and will scramble through for a single. So good busy cricket here from the house that skipper, who moves along to five, and he inches his side ever closer. How's that? No wicket for seven in the second over. As Cook is into Scott. This one's a full delivery. And it's played down the ground for another boundary. They're almost there, the two-time champions. The defending champions are on the brink here. As Scott hammers it down the ground. So how's that? Just one clean hit away from the semi-finals. As Cook goes back over the wicket. He's dropped short and there it is. Scott hammers this for a maximum. How's that a through to the semi-finals? And the defending champions are out at the quarter-final stage. This has been an absolute mauling, orchestrated solely by the How's That skipper. And they will be hard to stop with Scott in this sort of form. So we will have a new name on the trophy for this season. The defending champions crash out at the quarter-final stage. They have been hammered in quarter-final one by three wickets. Scott taking three wickets, including a hat-trick, and finishing 15 not out to get his side home in this first quarter final and book their ticket to the final four. And to make the victory even more sweeter, it is their first ever win against the men in black. So as we look ahead to the next quarter final, it's quarter final two. The Nifnuffs who top group B take on the 2019 champions wet up in what looms to be another absolute beauty these two heavyweights meet for the first ever time at the Australia Day T20 Big Bash and what an occasion to do it. Quarterfinal 2 coming up next.